Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, this is of course HD StarCraft and I thought I'd make this video to draw to your guys' attention something that has changed that is uh, quite drastic uh, in the landscape of Protoss versus Zerg. So uh, I just created a custom game and Ko Tiger has joined in. I don't even know who this is. So uh, this is perfect because he's going to play Zerg and I'm of course going to play Protoss today. Uh, this is going to be real, real quick. Just give me a second to go ahead and get my money up to point and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. Um, the, the best way for me to preface this is to go ahead and say Protoss has always been the race that has been naturally in tune with their environment. They're kind of like the the uh, the they're kind of like the avatars if you will of the StarCraft 2 world. But a recent design change in Heart of the Swarm and this just happened last night, I think is going to change a certain aspect of how they like their environment. So let me go ahead and and show you guys what I mean. Now, let's say I'm Protoss, and I want to go ahead and forge Pass Expand. I'm going to throw my Pollen over here, and obviously going to send my Zerg, or my Probling, to uh, go scout down in the bottom left. And uh, there's actually two ways you can play <laughs> Protoss in HOTS. You can go Naniwa style, one gateway, one core, um, gas, Fast Expand after that, or you can go some type of forge, Fast Expand, or Nexus first. Now, if you go with the latter, the expand first style, you obviously want to get a wall up at your front door. So this is what I mean, guys. Let's just say, um, all right, so let's just say I want to go ahead and just make my forge right now, early forge, 13 supply, whatever. And I'm going to go down here, and I immediately realize that there is a unbuildable rocks placed at the base of the ramp. So now, if I want to forge fast expand, where do I put it? It's like, you can't put it on the rocks, so you're forced to put it here. And then I guess you put your gateway here. <laughs> now, assuming this map has the it doesn't have this little access point here, and you could wall off by putting a cybernetic score right here, you still have a fatal flaw in your building infrastructure because now there's this rock that is essentially a lowered supply depot, and you could just fly right over it if you have like you know 50 zerglings or something, and that obviously presents a serious security flaw if you're in the business of Protoss safety. Um, now, <laughs> I, I think the reason why Blizzard put this in is they wanted to go ahead and mimic the way tournaments have put in a lowered supply depot, but the lowered supply depot should be placed back here at the inside corner of the ramp, not the outside corner. When placed at the outside corner, you cannot uh, wall off as Protoss, and obviously this means that Protoss win rates are going to uh, dr dramatically fall against Zerg. It's just not, you know, it's not going to happen. Now look, Kotiger's flying his Overlord in here, he's like, oh, ho, 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 that sucks for you. So obviously now I'm expecting a just absolute flood of Zerglings and I would normally die. And, you know, obviously killing the rocks here with, with probes is not... Uh, a viable strategy. So, yeah, Protoss now not so much uh, of an environmentally friendly uh, race anymore, I guess, because uh, they've got some <laughs> rocks that are in the way of their buildings. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, hoping that Blizzard will change that back to the way it was before, and, um, you know, uh, hopefully this video uh, calls attention to that. I'll see you guys in the near future, and this is HD, signing out.